Oh. <gasps> what? Come on. Missing eyeballs, ATM oopsies, and that's definitely gonna leave a mark. Due to an overwhelming request by you in my community tab, today we are breaking down and reacting to all the imaginative medical scenes and over the top injuries from Breaking Bad. And although fictitious, fair warning, a lot of the red stuff ahead. Let's dive right in. Is that how you want to be remembered? Image is looking at this syringe. It's got like metal components to it. In the emergency department, we actually use disposable one-time use type of thing. So the only metal per se with the syringe like this would be actually the needle. And then when you're actually done, you always dispose of it in the sharps container. Last chance to look at me, Hector. You can see that Hector has a nasal cannula on. It's basically a device that gives oxygen into the nose. And typically you're giving anywhere from one liter to six liters per minute of oxygen. Oh, got a bomb. Oh, what? I talk about explosions in the past. If you survive them, worried about obviously the shrapnel, debris, getting into tissue, ruptured eardrums, pneumothorax, hemothorax, those sorts of things. Wait a minute, how'd that guy make it out? Oh. Whoa, holy cow. Significant burn blast injuries. The eye is actually missing. And obviously we can see that part of the maxilla as well as the mandible on the right are partially gone. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, so it was enough trauma that it must have inflicted enough injury into the brain and intracranial space, which probably caused some brain bleeding, but for some reason was able to, for a short period of time, get up and walk. Could this possibly happen? Possibly. Oh, box cutter, razor blade. I've seen multiple people come into the hospital with injuries that have been inflicted by this device. Wait, what? This is real? Is this the real life? Anterior laceration of the neck. It is in zone two of the neck, which is an area that has your most important structures. You have your carotid artery, your jugular vein. What? You can possibly hear him gurgling a little bit. There is a potential that you can cut into the airway. We do a procedure where it's called a crike, where you actually cut into the airway between your Adam's apple and another hard piece of cartilage underneath called the cricoid. The audio is awful. If this were to actually occur, you definitely want to put direct pressure to the area. Wow, okay, to bleed out and significantly affect your cardiovascular system due to not having blood, you need to lose about 40% of your blood volume super fast. If we're filled with 10 to 12 pints of blood, you need to lose six. Baby, I don't like any sense. Of course it makes sense. Every safe's got its weak spot, right? Oh my gosh. No, 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 jump! Oh! Jump. oh. <laughs> What? Come on. Come on! Does anybody out there know how much an ATM weighs? You can have crush injuries to the head, compress down the airway, press on the neck. Could it be plausible that this might actually injure somebody so bad that it would take their life? Maybe. And of course, going for the white powder. We get people that come to the emergency department often. We do find drugs on them. If we do find it, we have to call security, call police and hand it over. Give me the drugs, Lisa. I was trying to get his fingerprints on it. Oh my gosh, it came right out. Come on. What would you do? What would you do? Would you take the money and run? Would you leave the money? Would you call the police? Let me know in the comments what you would do in that situation.
So he's going up to these guys already probably significant tachycardia and hypertension due to anxiety and nervousness. And that actually will affect how your motor skills are in this circumstance. If you're very stressed out, you'll be a little shaky. Pedestrians hit by a car is actually a quite common occurrence. Fractures, dislocations, intracranial bleeding, it can range from a simple bruise to uh, death. It just all depends on how fast the car was going, what you were hit by, if you were run over, all these different factors. Holy cow. What? Wow. It's in the head. You have a small entrance wound, a larger exit wound. Looks like he's shooting through the left frontal area, going to the right posterior, going across. Because of that, you're going through multiple structures into the midbrain, increasing the risk of death quickly versus if it was on the same side straight through. Run. Now, Jesse has to deal with PTSD and anxiety. Seeing somebody get injured and shot is very traumatic. That's something that you always worry about when somebody comes to the emergency department. We definitely have counselors at the hospital and provide resources for individuals if they need it. What is happening? Are you gonna stick me with that broken piece of plate? Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've never used a bicycle lock like that. So it's causing more pressure on the anterior part of the throat versus compressing down the major blood vessels on the side of what I could see. Ow! Appears that he's getting stabbed in the lateral aspect of his right leg. Your fibula is the bone that sits on the outside of each leg. And then you have a lot of musculature that are around that area. So it's mostly soft tissue injury that's probably going to be afflicted. His eyeballs get super red in the white area. You can actually rupture blood vessels. We call that a subconjunctival hemorrhage. The majority of the time, it's just a small blood vessel that's popping on the surface of the eye. It's actually not a major medical problem. Holy cow. If I were to stop breathing right now, I probably have about six to seven to eight minutes of oxygen already kind of in my tissues that could be used until my oxygen saturation drops below 90% and then it exponentially just decreases quickly down from there. This was actually quite interesting to check out. I'm assuming there's a lot more scenes that I could do. So if you guys really enjoyed this and want me to do more, please let me know in the comments and make sure that you check out this playlist, binge watch everything. Make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.